behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. A neighborhood watch, as we know, makes communities feel safe, and Facebook groups can help people spread the word about crimes and concerns. But a Chicago man running one says he caught gang members trying to join his group. Morning Insider Tim McNicholas found it appears to be happening more and more. Behind this blur is a man who flashes guns and gang signs on Facebook. We won't give him the satisfaction of showing it to you. We noticed a couple gang members trying to join. But George Morales says he saw it firsthand. When gang members tried to join the Portage Park neighborhood watch group that he runs, he denied their requests last month. We want to keep the neighborhood watch group as a, a place for people to feel free to say what they have to say. And... Um, not feel like they're going to be retaliated against or anything like that. A couple days later, concerned citizens started posting about gang taggings in the neighborhood, from private garages to Portage Park itself. Morales, who is a police officer, doesn't think it's a coincidence. I think they were trying to figure out what was going on before they came over here, so kind of just trying to get a feel for the neighborhood, I'm assuming. His group isn't the only one that's dealt with the issue. The Humble Park Neighborhood Watch page is public, so anyone can follow, and the admin says people flashing gang signs have liked and commented on that page. In Belmont Cragen, one Neighborhood Watch admin says gang members have even posted bragging about their own gangs or taggings. He quickly deleted the posts. They've had the same problem where, all right, well, we, we got to figure out a way to keep these guys out. Morales says if you run an online watch group, you should closely watch who's trying to join or post. If you spot anyone who appears to be flashing a gang sign, you should deny or delete them. He says gang members often include gang-related phrases or abbreviations on their own pages. It's important to keep these guys out of the groups, because uh, otherwise you, you might have these guys keeping an eye out and trying to figure out, oh, who's saying what, who's, who's doing what. Tim McNicholas, CBS2 News. Morales also says if you have any friends in law enforcement, enforcement, you can always talk with them if you're unsure if what you're seeing is a gang sign.